please do subscribe to our channel for more videos click on the bell button for notification taken away who did anything about it then I decided to come and put Aguada I tried one, two, three, first time God agreed. At the third time, I came, I made a statement outside the Supreme Court. My chief lawyer was my Gahamba, a Roman Catholic and evil man. He had his witness in the box, and he asked a panel of judges that they should check on certain constituencies in certain states to bring them, to bring us our register so that we can prove that some people, the people that voted there were not the people INEC submitted. They said, ah, we shall do it. He said, no, you must write it. They wrote it. Whether they, they sent to NEC, uh, INEC or INEC refused them, but when they came to give a judgment, that issue was not raised. Another Igbo man, a Roman Catholic, he said, but this is what happened. He was among the panel of the judges. He wrote a minority report in my favor. So why, why is this question of religion and uh, ethnicity and so on? People are worshiping the dollar, the Stalin, not to even talk of the Nara. It's all bloody nonsense. He wrote a minority, a minority report saying this is what we have decided. But the president of that court was my classmate for six years in secondary school. He's from my own state. So please, we have nothing to regret. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Since we must believe that God works with what in our heart, not our talking. God help us. God help our children and grandchildren. We will try as much as we can you know, to work and bring this country to its senses. God has given Nigeria everything. We are rich in human and material resources. Let us keep on praying to God that he should put people of conscience in charge at all levels. Thank you very much. Uh, of course, you know, it's going to be three layers. First is that we will use technology to ensure that so many of the things we are still hard coding now will be digitalized, you know, including contracting system. For example, I will put all the forms, every form that is signed by a public official in Nigeria through the uh, Code of Conduct Bureau should be available and accessible to the public, including mine. I will do everything to do that. Everybody that's on the CAC, you should be able to search who has companies in the country. So that when a contract is awarded to somebody and he has a nine-year-old boy on the board of their, of their company, he can find out immediately. If somebody is declared an asset he doesn't have, when well, you can download them, you understand that, oh, that but you are not the owner of this house. Maybe you are planning to buy it in the future. And raise an alarm. Of course, I also strengthen the whistleblowing policy. I have to give it to whomever dreamt the idea. It's a good idea. It's always been around that we encourage people with conscience within all these institutions, whether private or public, to whistleblow. You know, reveal if they have seen anything that is unusual. Also, ensure that we keep an eye in, on our NF, NFIU, the Financial Intelligence Union yes. of the country, because. Every time there is a transaction that is past a certain amount, there must be a suspicious transaction uh, report sent out. It's happening, it's supposed to be happening here, but nobody is doing anything about it. All because there is no money that moves without paper trail. You know, even physical money, especially in our banking system, especially now that we have a cashless kind of system in place. But nobody is monitoring that. You know, transparency. 
is the solution to a lot of our corruption when you're transparent about the contracting system who's our contractor how much we are earning how much we are spending 30 percent is taken care of you know another 30 percent is enforcement you know i would say another 40 percent is delivering consequences crime and punishment that is what other, every other country has done around the world to make sure that the yam band is safe from goats well uh but there are those who would argue, and I want to use the same analogy you've just used now, that for as long as the majority of the goats are hungry, yes, and they have no alternative means of feeding, yeah. their entire effort will be devoted to accessing the barn. Yeah. That so, in other words, you need to ensure that the basics that usually propel many people yeah. towards considering corruption yeah. are removed Absolutely. so that it is only those who are really determined that will head in that direction yeah. I, I'll tell you why and why that is correct and what we're doing one of the proposals I have is the minimum wage that matches up with the living wage you have you know civil servants in this country who are earning 18,000 naira per month that is when they, they get paid when they get, that's when they get paid at all that's the receipt for stealing right there so if i'm working in government office 8 to 2 p.m and i'm in any